Hi guys, welcome back Erinators and today very unexpectedly actually we're gonna be listening to Somi's new song called What You Waiting For. Maybe I missed some news or, or something but I didn't see this coming, I didn't know that she was coming out with... I, I don't even know if it's a standalone single or an album so you guys can let me know about that. Um, so I think just like the title suggests right here, uh, th this is what so many of us have been waiting for because it's been quite a while since her music video for birthday. And if you remember that one was my first ever time listening to her and then I got to learn a little more about her personality through watching the show 16. I haven't seen Produce 101, uh, but uh, yeah, I still know a little bit about her. So I'm pretty excited about this one. It, currently it's 8th on trending in the United States. So yeah, let's see. Let's see what, what the song is about and how it's gonna go. So I think I'm ready. Let's begin now before we jump in though don't forget that if you'd like to see my exclusive reactions to bts twice red velvet as well as jyp 16 nitsy project and also the new survival show island make sure to check out my patreon the link is going to be down below okay what you waiting for let's go Wait, so she she looks uh, quite quite sad here, but but the music is is somewhat playful. Hmm. We'll, we'll we'll see what what the song is about once we get to the lyrics. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> There's so much cool things going on at the same time. So first, I noticed, uh, I think, it, what are these, na nails? Nails in her sandwich, in her toast? Oh, maybe. Oh, that, is that a metaphor? Like, she, she doesn't want to eat? Hmm. So she sees herself as this princess in the mirror, but hmm. Okay, okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Let me listen to the chorus once again because I'm digging the beat so far. Mm -hmm. And her voice as well, you know, it's it's very unique. I would say it sounds more like a voice you would hear in an American pop song to me and less a K-pop song, but I, I think that's what makes her stand out, for sure. Mm -hmm. I, I like this uh, this quality, like it's a little rougher, more a little more in your, in your face, I want to say, pretty bold, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
That's nice, yeah, yeah. Oh, this right away, it reminded me of Feel Special. You remember Jihyo's scene where she was looking at all these screens, monitors? Mm. I'm super excited to see the lyrics. I feel like this video is way deeper than it seems at first sight. Oh. That sounded really good to me. What do you what do you think I Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I'm gonna say it once again, I really dig her voice. It's something very fresh and unique. You don't hear many people sounding like that. So, yes, it's definitely a plus for her. Ring the alarm. What did it say? What did it say? Enik. 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 Hmm. Oh, is that it? Oh, it was a short song. It was like two minutes fifty something. We're gonna see this out here and then. Go back to see the lyrics. Okay, um, mm hmm. Kind of j just a tad bit disappointed that the song is kind of short, but let's go, let's go again. I want to try to understand the music video better. Okay, okay, so the lyrics, lyric wise, I think it's uh, going to be like this uh, love struggle song, right? But the music video, I'm. All these scenes. Uh, let's see, let's Maybe it's something like, you know, a different 
So the all these different sides of her personality are are trying to to bring this sad Somi back to reality and cheer her up some somehow. This shot is absolutely beautiful. This and this, of course. Wow. Right, so I think the best way for me to describe wh what I feel about the song would be a mix of everything because the groove and the beat definitely has this, you know, dancey vibe to it, pretty party-like, but the lyrics are kind of sad at places, so it's like a, a duality right there, right? Then her voice is a little rougher. A little more nasal, so more more similar to a Western pop singer. And again, that's not a bad thing. I really like that personally. But of course, she's singing in a Korean. So I think because of that, because of those different qualities, the the whole thing, the whole package uh, sounds really fresh. Kind of disappointed by the fact that it's on the shorter side, under three minutes. And if I'm comparing this one to Birthday. I, maybe I like Birthday just a little more, but uh, it might be due to the fact that I've listened to it more often and more times. So we'll see what I'll think about this one after like five listens. And I'm definitely gonna keep listening to this one because I enjoyed the experience, I enjoyed the song. So yeah, overall, something like that. I just, again, I just have this little aftertaste, negative aftertaste of the song being way too short for my liking, although I still enjoyed it. I'm, I'm still gonna keep listening to it, but I, I just wish it was just a tad bit longer, maybe a longer bridge or a longer verse or something like that. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, of course, and make sure you comment what you thought about the song. This said now, I'll catch you all Aeronators in my next one. As always, take care, keep listening to great music, and love.